Welcome everyone, James here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this intake water pump by a company called Hugger, or Huger, or Hyger. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah. It's a, it's a water pump, essentially, yeah, it's just to, to push water around an aquarium, or maybe mix salt in a water bucket, or something like that. So yeah, that's what the product's all about today. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. All right, guys, so here it is, the intake pump. Um, box is just a normal cardboard box. It's not massively thick, but thick enough to uh, handle the, the shipping. Um, inside you have the, uh, the pump itself in a small little bag. Um, feels all right. Feels a bit light-ish, um, I guess. Um, but yeah, seems okay. British plug, which is always good. Um, what else have we got? A user manual. And a couple of uh, suction cups and adapters, depending on what kind of uh, hose that you're gonna be using. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get it hooked up and uh, see what we get from it. So the manual gives uh, just a bit of a breakdown of what the package includes, uh, usual sort of stuff about uh, how you should use it, preparation, including a drip loop, um, maintenance, and then yeah, just other languages. So there's not really much to it, um, but again, it's just a pump, so I don't think there's really much to this anyway. So I assume at the bottom here is where you would do the maintenance. Yep. Well, yeah, you unclip these bits and then I guess that you've got access to the impeller there. So uh, yeah, it seems pretty easy to uh, get into as well. So the idea of these suction cups is that you would put them on to the bottom here and then that keeps that firmly stuck to say the bottom of your aquarium or if you're using it to uh, pump water in a bucket, then uh, you can keep that at the bottom. Okay, so it's been about four weeks now since we put the pump to work and yeah, I just wanted to give my sort of final thoughts on it and how it's been running for me. Essentially, the, the, the pump has actually been running really well. There's not really much to report, to be honest. Normally, uh, a lot of these items tend to go wrong or I have some sort of uh, problem that I encounter, but for the most part, it seems to have been running perfectly I haven't really taken a second look at it the only time that I had done was as I mentioned in a previous video a few weeks ago when the sump behind me which I have the air pump running in ended up emptying the pump was still running in there as well as the heater and a few other things which I've explained about but that was a great thing about this pump is the water was still getting pumped out but even when there was no water in there a lot of these pumps tend to burn themselves out and have loads of problems afterwards I've had it before with a couple of filters and, and pumps in the past and this one seems to be running fine still so that's one perk that I can say is is if it does get into a situation where it's switched on or the water empties in the bucket or tank that it was in doesn't seem to be causing many problems could be just pure luck from my end but I haven't noticed any sort of performance issues or anything like that since I had that disaster in terms of build quality I think it's pretty decent there's not really much to say about it. Yeah, maybe the plastic is a little bit sort of cheapish, but you kind of get what you pay for. I have another air pump, which I once was using to mix salt, and it was by a company called All Pond Solutions. Now this is a 1600 per hour, and this thing died on me a couple of months after I had it. It was running in a bucket with salt water trying to mix for my marine tanks. 
and yeah it just died on me and I've tried everything to get it to run again and it's just completely dead so it's like burnt itself out whether that was to do with the the salt water or not I don't know that's the one thing I will say about the pump that I'm currently using it's it's not had any problems with salt water but again that could just be something that was just pure coincidence that happened with this pump could have been that it just burnt, at, burnt itself out or there was another problem or something I think in terms of water flow and everything I think it handled really well again if you watched a, a video a few weeks back I was messing around with the the, the flow of the pump using a valve and with the valve sort of hindering the amount of water that was going through so effectively putting a bit more pressure maybe on the pump it didn't seem to be causing any issues but again this is only short term I've only had it a few weeks so long term I don't know maybe that's something I can sort of have a look at going forward in terms of cost then is it any different to anything else on the market pretty much not to be honest most of the products around the 800 liters per hour marker are about 18 pounds and yeah I had a good check through on a few different websites in that and I, I think that that's sort of roughly the average price for them one thing I will say about this particular brand of air pump is I've seen this exact same model with a different company's name on so I can only assume that this might be a third party piece of equipment and this company Hugger or Huga or Hyger <laughs> has uh, has branded it to themselves because I've seen as I said a, a few other companies do that but whoever made the product seems to be pretty decent from what I've seen of it so far so is it worth it then yeah I guess so I, I haven't had no problems with it it's been running fine for me it's done exactly what it needs to it's just a pump to be honest so there's there's not something that you you're gonna end up having lots of issues with um, apart from it failing and so far I haven't had that problem so it's worth checking out like I said there's other products on the market roughly around the same price so it's down to personal preference you can take my word for it or you can try something else but from what I've experienced myself, it seems to be a decent product. Long term, again, yet to be seen. One thing I will say is customer service wise for this company has been excellent. I've had really good communication with the guys that sent me out the product to try out and I can't fault them for that. So, and then, and then they've been constantly sort of asking, you know, how the products go in. When I gave a bit of feedback, you know, they've sort of, they've, they've sort of come back to me quite quickly and stuff. So I would say that customer service seems to be very good but again that could be just because they have sent me the product <laughs> I don't know I think that's it really normally I have loads to complain about or or to make comments up but <laughs> I really haven't got too much to, to go on on this one I think uh, yeah it's it's a decent product I like it. it seems to be working for me and that's exactly what I want uh, a product that works for me and uh, yeah I'm getting good customer service from you know and, and it, all the boxes are tick so I can't fault it at the moment so I hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know what you think of this product in the comments below have you used it before are you thinking about trying something have you experienced anything better or sort of something roughly around the same price I'd love to hear your thoughts so leave them in the comment section below if you want to help support the channel all the links are in the description links to my merch store my patreon and my social media feeds if you want to follow along and uh, chat to me on those platforms you can do there if you haven't already please subscribe I'm getting very close to the 1k marker now it's very imminent so I'm really excited about that so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future review videos build videos educational videos the whole lot so there's hopefully something for everybody and until next time you stay safe